We're going to take a look in this video at adding and subtracting decimals. And before we do that, you can see on the board here we have a little bit of a review of the columns and what their names are. We have the decimal point located here. And to the right of the decimal point, we have the columns. The tenths column is the first column. That's represented here by the seven. The nine is in the hundredths column and the two is in the thousandth column, and so on. And to the left of the decimal, we get the numbers that are larger than one, and so the ones column here is represented by the four, the tens column is represented by the one, the three is the hundreds column, and the five is the thousands column. And these will go on in both directions. So that gives you just a review of the uh, columns when we look at decimals. Now I want to take a look at adding decimals and the rules, uh, some rules that go along with that. If we look at two decimals like 0 0.25 plus 3.71, well, when we're going to add these, we have to make sure that we add the columns uh, that correspond with each other. In other words, the hundredths column has to have to be added together, the tenths column has to be added together, and so on. And to accomplish this, what we do is we stack the two decimals so that the decimal places are in a line vertically, and that way all of the columns will match up. And then we simply just add the columns down. 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 plus 7 is 9, and 0 plus 3 is 3. So 0 0.25 plus 3.71 would be 3.96. Now if we take a look for a minute at a subtraction, subtraction is done the very same way. But when we subtract, sometimes uh, it's necessary to do a little extra trick that you might or might not remember. So we have 3.96 subtract 2.57. And so what we're going to do is, although it doesn't make a difference when you're adding, it doesn't make a difference which number you put on top and which number you put on bottom. But when you're subtracting, it certainly does. So that's the first thing to make sure you remember. You have to go from left to right. The 3.96 here has to be on top if we're going to stack these two decimals. So we have 3.96, and then we stack the 2.57 right underneath it, and now we're going to subtract. Well, the first problem that we run into here, which is a common one when you subtract decimals, is if we look at our... Uh, hundredths column here, we have a 6 and a 7. Well, we can't subtract the 6 and the 7 because if we did that, we would get negative 1. And that's not really allowed when you subtract decimals. We want our negative to be uh, applying to all of the numbers here. So what we have to do is we have to borrow, we have to borrow uh, a number from the next column. So if we realize that we get a negative here, 6 subtract 7 we can't do, we want to borrow then from the next column to the left. So we cancel the 9 and we replace it with an 8. So we're going to borrow 1 from the tenths column. And 1 from the tenths column would be the same as 10 in the next column over. So we cancel the 9 and put an 8 and then we replace the 6 with a 16. And you'll see some more of this later, but that's a method of borrowing from the next column over when the number in the bottom is larger than the number in the top. And so now we can go ahead and do our subtraction. 16 minus 7 is 9. And now we use the 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So when we subtract these two, we end up with... 1.39. And 
if we take a look at one more uh, quick example, we can have more than one here uh, easily. So let's do uh, 3.71, 3.71 plus 2.5. Well, now we have to remember that we still have to stack the decimals, so let's go ahead and stack them. And even though it's addition, the best idea is to stack them from left to right so you don't confuse it with the subtraction. So we get 3.71 and 2.5. Well, now we have trouble because what are we going to do here? What are we going to do in the hundredths column in this last number, 2.5? And the answer there is what you do when you are uh, missing a column or you're one column short, let's say, in one number, what you're going to do is you're just going to put a placeholder, and that placeholder is always going to be 0. 2.5 is the same as 2.50. So we put our placeholder in, we put our placeholder in, and now we can add down. 1 plus 0 is 1. 7 plus 5 is now 12, so it's greater than 1. So if 7 plus 5 is 12, what we do is we put the 2 in the column, we put the last digit, and just like we borrowed in this example, when we were subtracting, we had to borrow from the 9 and put it with the 6. Now what we do in this example, because the number is over 10, we write the last digit in the column, This column would have a 2, and we carry the 1 to the next column. And sometimes it's represented like that. So we have 2 in the tenths column. We had to carry 1 over into the ones column. And so now instead of becoming, instead of being 3, this number, because 1 transferred over, because we were more than 10 here, this number becomes 4. And now 4 plus 2 is 6. So you see, sometimes you have to carry over to the left, and sometimes you have to borrow from the left and carry it over to the right. So I hope that gives you a good review of adding and subtracting decimals.